Today's video is going to be on a young man, a young man named Everett Jackson. He's 21 years old and he's from Louisiana. He went missing June 11th. Now, today's read is going to be a little bit longer so I can explain to you what exactly is going on with this young man's case because apparently he's not getting the coverage he deserves. And we all know why that is. If you look his name up and see who he is, you'll know why he's not getting coverage. And it's because of the place he went missing. And I'm going to leave that part at that part. If you don't like what I said, don't watch the reading. It is what it is out here. There is still racism going on in America. Moving on. Everett was to fly to Idaho to meet up with his girlfriend to go to a family's wedding. Now, when Everett gets there and arrives to this wedding, his girlfriend, Gracie, allegedly didn't let him know her family was Mormon. So allegedly her family told him he wasn't invited. So we have two things working against him. One, he's black. And two, he's not Mormon. So he can't come. So he's not going, I guess, whatever he does up until June 11th, he chills wherever he's staying at for that time or whatever. But June 11th comes. Gracie and some friends and Everett decide to go swimming or tubing at the Payette River. Gracie allegedly states Everett and her while tubing, missed their exit. When they missed their exit, she reaches out for a branch, but Everett misses it and continues to go down with the river. Everett goes under and she never sees him again. Now that's story one, that she's told Everett friends. Story two, Everett's girlfriend says, he slipped in the water, and I tried to help him, but I couldn't help him, and he goes with the river. Story three. A stranger who called 9 who claims to have seen the whole thing, says I've seen them both struggling in this river. Everett just didn't come out, and the girl was walking away. Mm -hmm. Locals are stating this river is one of the most dangerous rivers that they have. And according to the friends, and I believe the stranger, ever didn't have on a safety vest. He had no nothing to support him to swim. I'm not sure if he could swim or not, but he definitely had no support to swim. He had no safety gear on to swim. My question is, why didn't you let your boyfriend know it's not safe for him to swim in this river, especially with no safety gear? And if you didn't know he couldn't swim, why would you let him attempt to get in this water in the first place? Now, locals are saying and Everett's oldest sister is saying when they arrived to this place, the police were not searching for him. Now, this is not just his family being upset, saying they're not looking for my brother or my son. This is locals saying the police aren't looking for Everett. They're not looking for him. The police claim they didn't have a boat to search the river, so they used a drone. I don't know how far they thought the drone was going to get them if this so-called girlfriend says he's under the water. The sister says 
when she went to meet up with the family, the girlfriend wouldn't speak to her. The mother wouldn't speak to her. The father wouldn't speak to her. The area that they that they were supposed to be searching, they did not help her search. They went to the sheriff's office and conducted their own search by themselves. What were they looking for that they didn't want his family to look for? So, with all that said, I think I cover everything on my paper, and there's so much more to the story, but I really want to just get into my read for this because I'm I'm just feeling like at this point with it, you invited this boy and you knew it wasn't a place for him to be. You knew your family didn't accept him in the first place. You knew there was no point for him to really be there because you two weren't even supposed to be in a relationship together. I understand everybody can love who they want to love, but when you're putting somebody's life in danger, back off. I don't see the point. Why would you put his life in danger? And now he's missing. And now you're not talking. And you done dropped about two stories, including this stranger stories, which I personal, personally believe it was somebody within that group who made that call because this stranger hung up the phone after they said that. They didn't say a name or nothing. They just hung up the phone. So let's get to the spread. Let my ancestors to give a clarification into the situation of Everett Jackson. What happened on this tombing with Everett? What happened, Everett? Did you accidentally drown in this river? Did Everett accidentally drown in this river? And that card was the rain card. So the rain card pops out. Did somebody catch Everett and her at the at the river? Did her family catch her at the river? Knowing well enough, they told her that relationship isn't approved of. Did they catch her? Did something happen? Or was it really raining? There was something going on with the weather, I believe. And I'm going to tell you what channel to go to to get the whole report because the story, the whole thing is crazy. So here we have the ring, known, and magician. And notice at the top of my people, they're saying, hey, friends. So this person knew him that's playing the magician. And this person is the person that fucked up his plans. And if YouTube blocks my comments because of the profanity, you can leave a comment about this video on another one of my videos. I'm just really hot about it. At the top is the truth. Somebody's brother was betrayed. Rejected. A fight broke out. And now we have regret. So here's the thing. What I'm seeing here, we have this brother being rejected. We have a fight because of somebody being betrayed. We have this truth about somebody known who is now in regret. So what I'm going to pull from this is Everett has been betrayed by who I feel is his girlfriend. I'm not just seeing rejected in any other way. You see this heart up here? I'm seeing that type of rejection. My family don't approve of you, so I got to get rid of you. Period. That's all I'm going to say about it. I don't see any other way of anything happening. You don't like it, move to the next video. And 
you have to keep in mind, there were a group of them. So in this moment of her probably letting him know we can't be together or whatever, or her trying to plan something so for sure they won't be together, that a fight broke out. A fight broke out somewhere because Everett felt betrayed. Now, did these friends jump on Everett and put him in, in that river? I don't know. But the unseen information is definitely telling us there was a fight because somebody got betrayed. Did they ever get in this river to go to them? Or did they just simply put him in that river? Because you have this person who's saying it's just the two of them in the water struggling. Not struggling to get out, but struggling with each other. Is that what you were doing? So what was the rest of the group doing? So that's why I feel like this stranger isn't really a stranger at all. It's someone that definitely knows who they are. And they just probably that was the only way they could get out the warning that this fight was happening. And they didn't want to be pointed out amongst the friends that reported the fight. Why would you hang up if you see these type of things happening? <clears throat> I don't have a river card, so I'm going to take that as my river card. Either way, it's some type of moving water. And then we have Barry. So he definitely went under this water. And it was by force. He definitely went under this water by force. They knew this water was dangerous, but they put him in it anyway. I really want to know if he can swim because I think that's an important detail. If she your so-called girlfriend and she knows you can't swim, then I don't think she should have took you to the most dangerous river that they have. magician is someone who has all the tools to put things in motion. Keep that in mind. Like I said earlier, there was a thought that these people bully him once he got down to that river. And then we have movement. We have stuck. We have security. So he was rejected. Also by the other half of him who was supposed to be protecting him. That's just crazy. And now he's missing. Now he's missing. After this whole fight, he's missing and stuck. And we have the cover-up from the same person who's feeling all these kinds of regrets, which I feel like is Gracie. This girl has told so many stories about what happened to this boy, and now she don't even want to talk to nobody. She don't want to talk to his sisters. She don't want to talk to his mama. She don't want to talk to nobody. And her parents won't let her talk to anyone because it's in their religion to not associate with blacks. So you can take this spread how you want it, but I'm going to tell you, in my opinion, this was a whole racist situation, and I really feel like her family felt insulted. They felt insulted by her bringing this black boy to their home, especially to show up for a family thing that you know he had no business being at in the first place. Are you calling yourself being rebellious, and in the process, you've taking somebody's son life. Whether you physically did it with your hands or not, you led him to it, period. So this is my spread for Everett Jackson. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.